Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy IBS Kelso and uh, today I have a great video for you. I think this is really nice for anybody from 0 to 20 hours. Uh, Paletta Raceway has really been uh, kind of my, my bread and butter right now and I think for anybody out there that's still learning the game and wanting to get a good build, nothing too crazy on you and you know like I have too much power and like you can't control the bike and you feel like you still need to go through your you know the nicks and crannies of stuff, you know, really understand it. I think this is the bike for you. This good build for YZ250 Yamaha. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it what it feels like to me on a regular, you know, um, default. And honestly, it was just too not too much power, but it was just, at times, I was literally lifting this front wheel up like it was nothing, and I wasn't having, I wasn't having the best time. But this is default, and I like the build that I've done so far. Alright, you definitely get that speed in it. But there's times in this track to where I feel like I I just don't I don't have it there. I think I'm I think I'm that guy, and then boom, the power just kicks from me. I don't know why I upshifted there. As you can see, I'm still, you know, learning the game and going crazy for myself here. Just like that, you know. It's a lot of power for me. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Default is not bad. But just like that, you know, out of nowhere, I think I'm like fine and all of a sudden this thing just wants to lift up on me. Oh my goodness, you know. Like again, like I can't even And it's kind of like like you start off really great and then you start getting some dirt in your tires and stuff. And it's like this is a whole new animal. Like what did I get myself into type thing, you know? But hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. This will be my second video on the channel. Um really been enjoying this game I, oh my goodness. I really been enjoying this game and uh, lately you know I'm, I'll be coming up on 20 hours so I'll be putting the video out like, out on that and uh, if you guys are really enjoying this content make sure to smash the like button subscribe for you boy if you're in, not 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 you know not demanding or anything you know, it just helps out the channel kind of see my own progress if you guys are doing it and all that but yeah that's my lap right minute and 58 my best on here with my build was a minute and 34 so and that was just like kind of a pre run like i obviously fell but yeah um now i'm gonna go to my build here test number three and uh, we're gonna compare to what i've changed and you know if you need to pause or anything and you like it feel free but uh yeah uh, i did mid soft changed both rear and front um, I didn't change anything else, kind of kept everything else the same right here because I'm still working out myself. But like I said, this is something that I feel that's really good for uh, anybody that's 0 to 20 hours still learning, you know, uh, the game as myself. And good for Paletta Raceway, I would say as well, you know. Um, I put Spring to 5.0, Clicks just went down 1, and then Spring to 60 instead of 56. Drive Train, I went front sprockets at 13 i don't know um i still am kinking it out but this feels really you know comfortable for me um but yeah that's that's it and i'm just gonna go ahead and get maybe a lap or two in for you guys but yeah um i've really been enjoying this yamaha uh, 250 you know ah uh, i <laughs> It's crazy as I tried to start this game on a on a uh, 450, and man, oh man, did I regret what I what I did. You know? Like I was all over the place, could not understand the power power band on that. And I really regretted it really really soon. But as you can see, I have more than enough power to get over here, and I'm not I'm not stressing. You know, I'm not feeling as if too much is going on. I'm just here, you know. I'm here feeling the track, 
able to kick it down. And, you know, I think for corners and stuff, I'm still having that hard time. But I'm there, you know, I'm still figuring out when to, uh, what to do in the air, pull down, let it ride through. But I'm there. I'm there, and I'm doing it, giving my best. But this is a really good run for me. Probably could have switched down the third right there. Got a little bit more power, but I'll take it. And, oh my goodness, I can't believe I stay up right there. And boom, <laughs> that'll take me down. But so far, this is the one. This is this is what I this is what I enjoy about this game right here. That you can there's always a, a time to beat. There's always more to accomplish. You know, you're not number one ever. Uh, and I, I respect that about this game. But boom, got a little easy 15 seconds right off the freaking clock. All right, let's try to go for a better time right here. But yeah, as you can see, I've really enjoyed this this build way more. You know, I fell what once. Freaking kill myself right there! Oh my goodness! And what's crazy is I always jinx myself, jinx myself on this game. Like I'll be going real great, and I'll think it in my head, or I'll say it out loud, like "Oh my god, it's really good." And, hey, <laughs> thanks, thanks for playing. <laughs> thanks, thanks for telling me your secrets. Thanks for telling me you wanted to fall just now. But yeah. Um, if you guys have any like tips and tricks for like going through these corners and stuff, you know when to uh, sit down, how much more force I can pull on the throttle, you know? Cause I feel like I, I feel like I give it a lot. I don't give it a lot going through these corners, and I feel like I can give it more. But every time I do, I just go straight into the dirty, and now I'm just screwing around and messing up. But you guys seen the really good one run? fell once you know and it's bound to happen if you don't fall in this game please tell me what's your name send me your YouTube and why you don't fall in this game because I think everybody's gonna fall in this game I think it's still it's part of the learning you know I, I ride a Yamaha R3 and a uh, and a Yamaha uh, pretty good amount of Yamahas you know I've done a 250 in real life and let me tell you, like, it means a lot to take care of these freaking, over these jumps and kind of be good on the, uh, I should say, you want to treat it like a baby, yeah, that's what, that's really what I'm trying to get here, you want to treat this thing like a baby, you know, you, you're not going to go on a freaking bike and, and immediately dump the clutch, loop your bike, go out there and just mess around, you know, like, these things are dangerous machines and I feel like this simulator really shows you that, you know, it's no joke trying to get onto the track and do what these guys do, like Eli Tomac, freaking Chase Sexton, Hunter Lawrence, you know, um, Jet Lawrence, you know, it really means a lot. So, it you have to be precise, and being precise in, in this game and on the track means whether you're falling or not. But, yeah, um, I've really been enjoying Supercross. Uh, motocross, I have not yet tried an indoor track on this game yet. Uh, I think I'm going to try to continue to master my ways of the outdoors and then possibly get my first video up there and see how I did. But I'm nowhere near ready for that, and I don't want not, I do not want to make myself look like a fool. But, yeah, one more time, this is the build. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as you can see, I can just get around a little bit easier. Um, I definitely can find my little tweaks and tunes to make it even better than what it is now. Obviously, you know, I'm still in that learning curve. But, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Like and subscribe. I'll be sure to put the link down in the description for this map. And, uh, yeah, awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. I appreciate you.